Okay, this is an application of combining of ratios. So, which in the last video we learned how to combine two different ratios or three different ratios and make it one single ratio. Now we will understand how to apply that concept to solve these kind of questions. So, in this question, it's uh, saying, let me read this question for you. The ratio of incomes of A and B is 2 is to 3. So it says like, you know, A is to B equal to 2 is to 3. That's fine. The ratio of their incomes. And whereas the ratio of incomes of B and C is 4 is to 7. So here it says B is to C equal to 4 is to 7. Two numbers, two different ratios. And it says again, A earns 12,000. Find the sum of incomes of B and C. So tell me the value of B and C. It's actually very simple. You can do do these questions manually by using K concept and all. Uh, whatever you learned in the last videos. This you can do. But one, one very uh, important thing that I should suggest to you. Like you know when you see these kind of two different ratios. I would recommend you. To combine them first, whenever in any question you are saying two different ratios like this A is to B and B is to C, just combine them A is to B is to C. This you can find, I mean in a, in a fraction of seconds, I will tell you, you have learned this technique. So pick 4, multiply with 2, it becomes 8. Then 4 into 3, it becomes 12. Then 7 is to 3, it becomes 21. So A is to B is to C becomes 8 is to 12 is to 21. Now, what was given in this information? A equal to 12,000. It was given. And it is asking B plus C equal to question mark. So let me remind you once again. We learned a shortcut technique to write, uh, write something by something into a number which will give you uh, give you the value of, of the question which is asked and uh, that is called shortcut to K concept so to apply that shortcut B plus C is is, is what is this this is the element which is asked in this question so something has to be written in the numerator part something is to be written in the denominator part and into a number and this technique will give me the answer quite promptly so B plus C Let's go to the ratio part B and C. Their ratio part B and C summation is nothing but 33. And what is to be written? The ratio part of given information A is given. That's why the ratio part of A is 8 here. And what is to be written here? A number 12,000. So this is how the numbers have to be placed. So, I mean, if you calculate this one, and it becomes 1,533 into 1,500 will be the value of this question. In this video, you have to understand why I combined these two and made it one. A is to B was given, B is to C was given, and but I combined them to make it to one ratio, A is to B is to C. And another information was given, another question was asked. So remember, when two different ratios are given, just combine them, and then apply directly the shortcut to K concept. This will help you to solve questions quite promptly, without uh, doing so many steps and uh, you will save a lot of time we will solve another question exactly exactly like this with a bit different set of information let's see if you can solve that quite promptly by doing all these steps see you soon in the next video